Yes, sir. What's your name? Yeah. Hi, my name's Tim. Hey, Tim. I uh, appreciate your work. Um, I, my question is about um, maybe the usefulness of logic, reason, apologetics in converting people. Um, you know, theologically, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. Um, I certainly have a lot of, um, I've gained a lot of confidence from, from content like this in understanding the faith and also being able to talk through it with people, but I'm wondering, um, when, does, when does the usefulness of, of reasoning uh, end uh, when, you, when you're trying to convey the truth of the gospel? You know what I mean? John was to say, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. What's the Greek word for word? Yeah, logos. Yeah, so logos, logos. And what does logos mean in Greek? The principle of reason. And logos is where we get the word logic. So when we start with logic, we're starting with the nature of God. right? And so I don't think we ever stop being logical. Christians should be the most logical people on the face of the planet. Now, with that said, I'll introduce you to somebody here tonight who's a professor here at this university who uh, is trained to be a skeptic, right? And this person uh, said to a crowd last night that if that it would be hard for her to believe in Jesus even if he showed up in the flesh. However, reason and logic and evidence brought her to Christianity. So this stuff works. I've seen many people come to Christ through reasoning. And even Isaiah says it, come, let us reason together. So we should never stop reasoning. We should never stop being logical. In fact, we honor God when we are logical. Can I have a follow-up? I'm not sure if that's okay. That's um, it. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want money back. <laughs> um, it was free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone took my money then. <laughs> Um, so I guess my, my follow-up question is, and I have a bit of a motivation for asking this, is because I see, um, you know, I don't know if you've ever, like, tried to have a useful conversation on Facebook about this kind of stuff. Not me. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Never done it. Yeah. But I guess I'm wondering if, um, you know, there's, uh, you could give some advice about, like, you know, when do you know when to stop when you're being yeah. counterproductive? Yeah, you know, uh, I had to learn that over the course of several years. You can talk to my wife about that. I didn't know when to stop. <laughs> I, would just, I would say, I'm going to get the last word no matter what. Yeah, that's not healthy. Um, but, you know, I, I was willing to uh, have that conversation with anybody. And, if you know, my, kind of my rule of thumb was you could start to see if some people are really willing to follow the evidence and if they're willing to be reasonable and logical or not. Um, and so when I started to get the, the sense that, okay, they're not really, they just want the last word. Okay, let them have it. Um, but sometimes when it, there's a whole bunch of people watching, I'll keep it going just so everybody else can learn from how unreasonable the atheist is being or the non-Christian. Um, but if they uh, contact me privately, uh, then I'll usually talk to them longer uh, because I, I feel like they're usually uh, serious. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, you kind of have to be careful with that. So and you can good. cut to the chase really quickly by asking, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Yeah. If, if they, they say, say no, no, see ya. It, it, evidence, evidence isn't, isn't the, problem. the problem. It's not, it's not here, here, it's here. So, so you, you can, can say, say thank, thank you very much, much and then just move on. on. All, right. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Tim.